This is Jenny's Big Up to One Not TV, and you can look out for my single coming out soon for Jenny's Watson set. Okay, Jenny, how are you doing? I am good, and you? Doing great. Uh, for the fans who don't know Jenny's, tell us who is Jenny's. Well, Jenny's is um, an entertainer and artist. And you can look out for my singles. I have a song with Capleton called Gimme More. You can go on Facebook and YouTube and see my singles. I have an official video which is Wine So. And another one which is um, I Need You In My Life. But the new single that I'm working on now is Fallen. And I'm shooting the video about the next two weeks. So you can look out for that. How long have you been doing music? Well, I have been doing music um, about mm, about 15 years. But what happened is that um, I got pregnant and I have a child and I put music on pause. So now that I think she passed the worst, I'm now focusing now on music, giving, my, giving music my all. How did you go about saying, yo, music is the way to go? Well, music has always been my life and I've always loved music and I just, I always find myself writing a lot of songs, never intend to be an artist, but I, I find myself to be a songwriter, always writing songs and I love, I find myself love performing and acting and then one day I just decide to start singing song them, no? the ones in that I write and then I like it. Mm -hmm. Apart from Capleton, who else have you worked with? Well, uh, my first collaboration was with Onomosity, which I have the official video out now with Wine So. And then the second collaboration is with um, Capleton Gimme More. Alright, so who are some of the producers that you have worked with? Well, I have been working with a few producers. And the thing what happened with me now, I have been doing a lot of traveling. So when I get readings from different, different producers and I'm supposed to voice them, I'm always flying in and out. So every time I fly back in, the air to the reading and just miss me. <laughs> but this time, I'm serious about it. I heard you mention the song with Fallen, with yeah. Natural Entertainment. Yes. But apart from that, do you have anything out? Yes, yes, I have the song out um, with Capleton, Give Me More. Okay. And I have another one out, Wine So, featuring On A Musty, which can go on YouTube and see. And the, fir the very first video that I put out with my single was I Need You In My Life. It's also on YouTube. I think that was my very, very first video. And that video I shot in 2010. All right. So future projects, what can fans expect from you in terms of an EP? Or album? Well, um, album, I'm not really focusing on an album right now. Oh my God, everybody dreams to have an album, but I'm not really focusing on, al on an album now. I am more focusing on singles, putting okay. out different, different singles for now. So, can you tell us a little bit about the shows that you have worked on, if any? Yes, I went, um, I've been on a few shows overseas. And I, um, I went on Sting two years straight. Yes, I've been on Sting and a few other shows. So tell us about the Sting experience. Oh my God, the Sting experience, it was wonderful for me. Because what happened is that, you know, Sting, when you hear about Sting, y'all, you think about some hardcore song. And at that time, I am not doing hardcore songs. I'm more doing R&B, you know, Jamaican or two like that. But I was just being me and doing me. And then the song that I had with Onomosity called Wine So, right? Um, I said to Mr. Ling that I would love to be on Sting. And I'm saying, won't go on Sting. You sure you can go Sting? I'm saying, yes, Mr. Ling. And he gave me the break. And I happened to be on Sting. And let me tell you, stop. Mm. I was very nervous, you know? Like when I hear, so Janice, it's your turn. Like, oh my God. You get what I'm saying? I will run out and do it. Oh my God, this is worse than me. I'm My mommy tell you the place pull up and my head swell so big. I'm like, oh my God, this is happening. And it happened twice. But staying for me, it was a, a beautiful experience. You know what I mean? Nerve wracking, but it was wonderful. So tell us about the overseas shows. Where were those? Well, overseas shows now, let me tell you now, it's not like I went on a tour. Yeah. It's that I am surrounded by friends that, that are in music. 
So when I go overseas now, they say, yo, Jan, you know some of our show songs, so yo, you want to come on it? I will say, they can't come on it because me or say I have to have a permit. And some of them will say, no, man, come on my show, man. And then when you when they perform, they will just call you up, you know what I mean? And then, this is um, James from Jamaica, you don't know, a new artist, whatever. You know, you just get a little break. But it's nothing big to say, oh, I went on tour. Or, yeah. Okay. So, in contrast, the local fans and international fans, can you tell us about that? Alright, let me say this. Jamaican artists is very hard to please. I have heard this and I've seen people talk about it. That Jamaican are easy. When you perform, you like, if you just really deliver, they're not really acceptable to you, your, your song, especially if it's R&B. But there's something about America. I'm not saying that if you sing Fufu song, they like it. But when you go to America, people just embrace you and just love your song. Whether it's hard, artists, R&B, they must appreciate it and rock to the song. And you know what I mean? But I'm from Jamaica, so I have to represent Jamaica. I'm a woman, people them feel love me too. And the most important thing is that your people love you and they love me. Okay. Yes, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Where can fans find you on social media? Well, you can find me on YouTube with Jenny's What's a 1000. That's my YouTube channel. And you can find me on Facebook. You can also find me on um, Reverb Nation. Yeah, basically. All of them, Jenny's Watson. Instagram, yeah, Jenny's Watson. So I make it very easy.